Well, still with me here in the studio are the social commentator Dorcas Guata and the news analyst Joseph Dankra. Um, Dorcas, what's the reaction been to this ban? It's an incredibly bizarre, bold move in Congo Brazzaville. I have to say, somebody who follows issues around the continent, particularly for, for women in Africa, I've been very, very surprised where this is coming from. It has got to have external fo fo forces. Brazzaville and, and Congo are very much aligned to France. This is an a, you know, ex-colony of, of French and, 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 and Belgium. So there must be some external forces at play here. 5% of the population are Muslim. 2.5 of that will be women. Culture is much more important an entity in Africa than religion is. If you asked us not to marry each other and use cows and goats, that would matter to us much more than actually covering ourselves. So to what extent does this actually make Congo Brazzaville I'm surprised, but you see, um, President Sassou Nguesso has been in power for a very long time. He was a military leader in the 70s, uh, uh, from 79 to 92, and he came back again as, as a civilian president from 97 till today. So you know, community, we've been in power for almost 30, some, 30 years. And for me, I think it's an, it's an attempt to shift away from, the, from, the, from his, his autocratic rule, because it has been an attempt to rewrite the constitution, saying that they, it's been said that you can go for only two terms. He wants to go for a third term. And these are some of the distractions of the reality of his bad leadership. There's no need for this because, you see, bringing out these things about some women from bringing about away in the veil can radicalize many of these youths in, in the country because many of these um, um, guys from Central African Republic are remnants of the Seleka um, rebels who were um, supporters of President Todia who was overthrown by the anti-Balaka. So you see, these people are very disaffected and they're very angry. So he shouldn't try to push it beyond bounds, which there's no need for it. The country is, has, is, has its own cultural and political problems. Why add really, a religious dimension to the problems they already face? Because they're next to, as you know, Democratic Republic of Congo, which is a very complex country as itself. And if you start these things, it'll become a mixture of problems which would then explode into something else. Yeah, absolutely. It's almost like you want the, the people on your side in times yes. like this and yeah. not to sort of turn them against yeah. you. Um, Dorcas, what's the reaction been like in the country? What are people saying about this? Has there been a backlash or do you expect there will be a backlash? I, I really don't think so, because Af Af African women generally are too busy trying to feed their children and get to the next meal, frankly, be um, rather than think about whether they're covering themselves this way or that way. It's, it's neither here nor there. It will, however, really put a spotlight on religious divide, which in this country I'm extremely surprised. Ten years ago we wouldn't have this conversation, Simon, because actually I mean, Muslims against Christians within this region was never really an issue. This is a new phenomenon. It must have. He must be a mouthpiece for a wider team out there that is putting spotlight on him. So I really don't think it makes any difference whether these women cover themselves in the mosque or not. Uh, they are far too busy with just daily living to focus on this. And it's also also a strange, a bit of a strange country for this to happen, isn't it? It's not like it's Nigeria or Cameroon. Yeah. They haven't um, experienced terrorism on the same level as those countries. So what's the thinking here? Is it just to try and stop it before it happens all this? Time? Well, it, it, that could be a, a point where he wants to stop before it happens. But I also see from the point of view whereby, as I said earlier, he's a man who wants to entrench power and who want to therefore use anything to his advantage to, to make his continual stay in power legitimate. So therefore, he will therefore bring about a, an excuse of, you know, let's for security's sake, let me stay on for another seven years, as a term of the president's seven years. And it's not necessary because, let me tell you, this is a place which is an all-rich country, but they're still living in poverty. It's an all-rich country which education is, is not very high and they're still living, many people are living below the poverty line. So therefore, bread and butter issues are very vital for the people of that part of Africa. And these religious issues don't matter that much to them because we, they've never had a, a history of religious or religious problems. So therefore, bringing this sort of, you know, um, laws doesn't help at all. And Simon, this is what Al-Qaeda loves. Yes. This is what ISS love. This is what Boko Haram love, Al Shabaab love. They love a, a situation where you are in, even in the minimus, the conflict with their values. Why on earth would you want to bring that? It's almost unethical, unfair to bring that to a population that's already starving.
Yeah, and it's almost like the terrorists are sort of getting what they want in yeah. terms of us yes. and, and, and cultures changing, yeah. yes. changing their identity yes. as a result to try and take sure. on what they're doing. Yeah, because back what um, Dukas is saying, you see ISIS are bent on establishing a caliphate. And if you start, if this um, president, Sassou Nguesso, is bringing out this thing, he will therefore give cause for them to say, well, this is a place where our brothers are being discriminated against. Let us move in and therefore, you know, liberate them. And this is something which I don't think is necessary at this point in time. Bread and butter issues are, are very prevalent in that part of Africa, and he needs to sort it out than to start picking on innocent Muslim women. All very interesting, all very controversial. Joseph Dorcas, thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm.